We are growing at the Grove. Our vision is to be a growing church for growing people whom Christ will use for growing His kingdom. Sunday, February the 16th is Supernatural Sowing Sunday. Bring a supernatural seed and watch God bless you in a supernatural way. What God does corporately, He also does individually. Friday, February the 21st at 7 p.m., Pastor Faison will be speaking at Community Baptist Church celebrating their pastor's anniversary. The Christian Education Ministry presents the Black History Program titled Reflecting on the Hinges immediately following the 1045 worship service. This program will celebrate the African-American past, present, and future. For more information, please visit the ministry table after service. Saturday, February the 22nd at 9 a.m., Super Saturday, New Partners Orientation. If you are a new partner and you have not completed your classes, or if you have been thinking about becoming a new partner and you want to know more about the growth, this event is for you. In one single day, you can get all of your classes completed and learn about everything the Grove has to offer. Plus, you will get an opportunity to hear directly from Pastor and Lady A what our vision is and where God is taking us. Don't miss this opportunity to become a part of the family. Meet us for Super Saturday is the first step to growing at the Grove. Save the date for Pastor Faison's second anniversary weekend. Saturday, March the 1st is Make a Difference Day. Join us as we serve the Nashville community in a great way. Sunday, March the 2nd, come worship with us at the 8 a.m. and 1045 services. More details are coming soon. It's Pastor John R. Faison Sr.'s anniversary weekend, a time to serve, celebrate, and worship. February Sermon Series, Giving Honor to God. Whenever the saints of old would stand and address the people of God, they would often begin with the phrase, giving honor to God. They did this because they knew that before anyone else was to be addressed, God was to be acknowledged. Everyone pretty much accepts this principle, and we use it in speaking, but do we really use it in living? If God is to be honored first, shouldn't He be first everywhere? This month, Pastor Faison will help us understand what it really means to give honor to God. Don't miss a Sunday. The Word will bless your life. Financial Peace University began about 20 years ago, and now today we've had over one and a half million families go through this course. This is the place where we start happening to our money, where we start aiming our dollars at our goals. You gotta make your money behave. You work too hard to get to the end of your life and be broke. There's a massive group of people out there trying to sell you stuff they want to interrupt your plan. Don't cash out your 401k. I know your 401k looks like a 201k. Remain calm. The only people that get hurt on a roller coaster are those that jump off. God's all in this thing. He's all about fixing you. He's all about fixing me. There's a redemption story built into this whole thing. And every time I give, every time I understand I'm not an owner, I move along that spectrum from selfish to selfless. Now this is a boot camp. I'm your coach. I've had some good coaches and they lit me up a time or two, but it caused me to go places I couldn't go otherwise. You change your life when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, or you say, I've had it. This is how you get out of debt. You got to run for your life. You got to run, 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 run. You got to bust it. You got to go like your life depends on it. What would happen to the kingdom of God if the people of God were out of debt? How much of this world could we as believers change? 
Stay connected with us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, or learn more about us by visiting our website at watsongrovembc.org.